In 2009, I met with a terrible bike accident. It was a beautiful January morning and I was on my way to work. I didn't see the sand on the road and was at a considerable speed. I skid and my bike swiveled across the road and the speed threw me right into the center. Thank God I was wearing a helmet, but my rest of the body was not protected. In spite of wearing a heavy jacket, my arm got twisted so bad that the bone cracked right in the center. It took me two years and much more than the surgery to get back on the bike. Physical pain apart, I had to deal with my fear of falling again. To get back on the bike is to take another risk. Hubby didn't allow it and everyone around me said, why take risk? Then I heard a lobster parable. It seems the shell of the lobster is really hard and inelastic. As the lobster grows, the casing that protects its soft inner flesh becomes tight and restrictive. The shell that was once secure now pulls it back from further growth. So what does a lobster do? It sheds its shell and exposes itself to the unknown. It takes a risk. During this time, its soft tender flesh is exposed to the seawater and it consumes it and grows stronger and stronger until it develops a new shell. Since the lobsters are growing all through their life, this shell too becomes tight one day. It sheds this and starts the process all over again. This video is not about lobsters. It's about taking risks in life. We tend to create protective walls due to fear of failure, embarrassment, rejection and pain. While these walls help us recover when we are going through those severe emotions, staying in for too long can be equally damaging. They restrict us from exploring the unknown. So as lobster does, once the challenge is passed, we must break the protective wall. Jack Canfield has said, everything that you want is on the other side of fear. Remember, dar ke aage jeet hai? Coming back to my story, in order for me to get back on the bike and fight my fear, I have to do some adjustments. First, I had to analyze where the fear came from. Sure, the incident of my fall is fresh in my memory, but it's been over a year. Time is supposed to heal everything, isn't it? If I constantly think about the incident, I will never recover from it. So I had to do a bit of self-coaching. This is how it went. Hey Apu, why does this fear develop? Because I had a fall and it was painful. What have you learned from that incident? That I should ride my bike slowly and not get distracted. I should see where the bike is going. Oh, I also learned that the sand on the tar road can cause the bike to skid. I did not mm. know that before. So how can you avoid the risk next time? I should avoid the sand and of course drive slowly. If you take the risk, what is the worst that can happen? I may never be able to ride my bike again. Then, why is it important to you? Because I love the sense of freedom that riding bike gives me. Second, I connected it with my passion, value or goal in life. What happens if you don't get back on the bike? Nothing. What happens if you do get back on the bike? I could get over my fear of falling. The important thing to remember about risk taking is that without risk taking, you never know what could happen. Every risk you take leaves an impact on your life, both positive as well as negative. It's important that you test it. You'll never know what the outcome is if you don't try it. Three, I started small. I started taking baby steps. I first drove around in my compound. Then I got a little bit of confidence and then I ventured out onto the streets, driving in the bylanes of where I stayed. Once I gained confidence from driving over there, then I took it back on the road. Touch wood, I did not fall after that. It seems I have conquered my fear of falling. I have taken several risks in my life to explore every possibility. I quit my secure job to start out on my own. I decided to pursue coach certification and make it part of my life, my career. I took a huge leap of faith and started this channel. All these are calculated risks and I'm sure you've taken many in your life. So the next time you feel that the risk is too high or you're not able to take that first step, try these three steps. I'd like to add that taking risk is nothing like gambling. Taking risks involve careful planning, 
deliberate investigation and a whole lot of counseling. I'd like to end today with this quote from Mark Frost. Life is not a journey to the grave with the intention of arriving safely in a pretty and well-preserved body, but rather to skid in broadside, thoroughly used up, totally worn out and loudly proclaiming, wow, what a ride. Have you taken risks before? I'm sure you have. Did they pay off? Do let me know in the comment section below or you may reach out to me in any of the social media platforms that I'm in. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and I'll see you next week. Until then, take good care of yourself. Keep taking risks.